Singing with a mixed voice enables you to sing higher with confidence and power. Inside this video, I'll show you how to eliminate three obstacles preventing you from mixing. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to get mixed voice in your singing. Hi, I'm Chuck Gilmore, international vocal coach and founder of Power to Sing. For the best technique to build an amazing and confident singing voice in any genre, please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post a video every Friday. Learning how to get mixed voice in your singing can be confusing and discouraging. Here are the three reasons why so many cannot get mixed in their voices and what you can do to eliminate them and make faster progress. This is a technique which has worked for me, my students, and thousands of singers worldwide, and it will work for you. The following are things singers tend to do when they sing from chest voice through the first bridge into head voice. This tendency may occur without the singer realizing it's happening, or in my case, this was the only way I could eke out a few high notes. Number one, pull chest, high larynx. When you sing from chest to head voice, many singers stay in chest voice too long or never leave chest voice at all. They sing higher and higher while using the vocal coordination they use on low notes. This is hard to do. Often you see their faces getting red, their necks tensing up, their voices getting louder and more strident, and their words and vowels becoming splatty and distorted. This is called pulled chest. In combination with this, the larynx rises higher and higher, and the tension increases. It's as if the larynx is in swallowing mode. It's position when you swallow. This is called high larynx. It makes singing very difficult. There are many reasons the larynx rises higher than normal, including illness, breathiness, tension, and stress. Pulled chest high larynx is extremely common and is my personal tends to. Number two, light chest, no chest. Some singers' vocal cords don't come together firmly enough to stop an air leak. They, so they have an airy, breathy sound because too much air is escaping through the vocal cords. I compare it to closing my eyes. Remember when you were little and you were pretending to be asleep and you wanted to see what was going on but still looked like you were sleeping? You would just barely open your eyes and see just a little bit without really opening them wide. Compare your partially opened eyes to the vocal cords that produce a breathy, airy, light voice. Like your eyes that let light in. The cords are letting too much air out. They're not closing firmly enough for optimal balance between the air and vocal cord muscle. There's too much air escaping. Too little firmness in the adducting or the coming together of the cords. If the vocal cord muscle and air were on a teeter-totter, the vocal cords would be high on one side and air would be on the ground on the other. Too much air with too little vocal cord muscle. This results in a breathy, airy, light vocal tone. You might run out of air quickly. Often the singer is hard to hear and struggles to increase volume. Can you hear the air leak? Light chest, no chest is common in younger children, especially if they identify as being shy. Some adults who have a softer, quiet speaking voice will also sing this way. Surprisingly, even singers who speak normally with a good balance of air and muscle, when they start singing, relax their cords and allow too much air to escape. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Can you hear the air leak? This tends to, in singers, is easily corrected physically. However, it can also be a tremendous challenge emotionally if they identify as quiet, shy, or soft-spoken. Number three, flip falsetto. Some singers disconnect the tone as they sing from chest to head voice. This disconnected tone is called the false voice or falsetto. Sometimes you can hear the tone disconnect abruptly, usually because the larynx is rising and the chest voice is being pulled up. In this case, the cause of the flip or crack in the falsetto is pulled chest high larynx. 
However, in many cases, the singer avoids pulling up chest or cracking by disconnecting the tone early or by always singing in falsetto. This helps them to avoid having any cracks, breaks, or pull up chest. When the singer lets go, there's no pulled chest nor audible break or flip. They just disconnect into falsetto. Some singers use the flip as a way to transition from chest to head. There's no pull or continual high larynx. They just flip into falsetto so they can get the high notes. Many learn to hide the sound of reconnecting into chest voice. Or they stay in falsetto and don't use chest voice at all as they sing lower. This causes the voice to fade out as they sing lower in the chest voice. Pull chest high larynx, light chest no chest, flip falsetto all describe what our voices tend to do as we sing from chest voice through the passaggio or bridge into head voice. These tendencies are called vocal types. These three vocal types prevent us from getting mixed voice. If you pulled the chest voice into, br into the bridge and the larynx comes up, you are not able to mix. You are just pulling chest voice higher. If you have little to no chest voice as you sing higher into head voice, you have no chest voice to mix with head voice. Yes, it can be termed a mixed voice, but practically speaking, the tone will be 10 parts air to one part muscle and will be so light and breathy no one can hear it anyway. That's not the objective nor the power of mixed voice. Whether you flip or disconnect your tone into falsetto, there is nothing to mix in the bridge. There's no chest or head tone, just disconnected falsetto, which limits your vocal power and diminishes the full spectrum of vocal tones you could have with a mix and connected head voice. Uh, nothing to mix. Uh, where if I stay connected, uh, each of these vocal types prevent you from mixing. If you're struggling, it's because one of these vocal types is still present to a greater or lesser degree. You may have elements of all three of these vocal types in your voice. However, one of them is the predominant vocal type in your voice. Focus on this first. Which one do you think you are? Let me know in the comment section below, please. How do you eliminate your tendency and start mixing? How do you stop pulling chest and raising the larynx? How do you get a balance of air and vocal cord? How do you stop flipping and letting go into falsetto? First, discover your vocal type. How? Download the free PDF, get your vocal type. Get it here or in the description below this video. Take the vocal test, which I call the power test, and discover your vocal type. Watch the videos about your vocal type. These videos explain your vocal type and demonstrate vocal exercises designed to help you start mixing. Then download the exercises and start practicing them. Do them as I've demonstrated. These exercises will help you stop pulling chest, stop air leaks, stop the breaking into falsetto, and start mixing through the first bridge or passaggio. If you discover your vocal type is mix, download the exercises for mix. They will further challenge and develop your mixed voice. Your range will increase, your tone will improve, and your voice will get more powerful. With exercises for your vocal type, you know you'll be doing exercises that will help you improve faster than exercises that have no purpose or focus. These exercises will help you get mixed voice working in your voice. Do them at least once a day, twice a day is fine. Do them exactly as demonstrated and on the same notes. Guys, don't drop an octave lower. You'll waste your time if you do that. You cannot develop your mixed voice just practicing down in chest. Get your free PDF, get your vocal type, and get going. There's nothing that can hold you back. Every exercise will bring you closer to getting mixed voice. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. 
subscribe and share it with your fellow singers. Which vocal type are you? Please let me know. Or which vocal type do you think you are? Tell me now in the comments section below. Also, if you want to join a community of singers just like you, I have a Facebook page, Power to Sing, where I share up-to-date singing advice for you to help you succeed with your voice. In addition, be sure and join me on Twitter and Instagram at Power to Sing. I'm Chuck Gilmore with Power to Sing. You can sing higher with beauty, confidence, and power. I'll see you inside the next video.